This hut is steeped in history. It's one of the first buildings put up here at Scott Base. And it was the beginnings of Antarctic science and Antarctic exploration from the New Zealand program. It is such a fantastic piece of New Zealand history. Hillary's hut um, was built in January 1957 and it had a dual purpose. It supported New Zealand's presence in the uh, International Geophysical Year, but also it supports Sir Edmund Hillary in the uh, Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition. That story um, is very inspiring. Sir Ed travelling to the Pole on uh, Ferguson tractors, the uh, only third overland crossing to the Pole at that time. The hut was used by the two teams as their main mess hut, kitchen, dining room, uh, radio room and a small office for Hillary which uh, then became his bunk room. Since 1957 the hut has gone through a few different uses. In 1982 it became an overflow area for Scott Base and provided uh, sleeping accommodation. In 1989 it uh, has become an emergency shelter area and an area where people can go and look at the history of, of the original Scott Base building. Well, the reason that the Antarctic Heritage Trust has become involved with, with the TAE hut is because of our long experience with uh, cold climate conservation in Antarctica and so it was uh, fairly logical that uh, we, we would get involved with the next phase which is uh, conserving New Zealand's historical presence in Antarctica. The Antarctic Heritage Trust is undertaking the, uh, the conservation work and it will be supported um, through the logistics by Antarctica New Zealand but also through a team of international conservators and uh, heritage carpenters. So before we begin the conservation work on the artefacts what we need to do is go through and assess the condition of all of them and I've had a couple of conservators working with me to look at the, the range and the condition of the artefacts to establish what type of conservation treatments they might need and uh, how long that might take and what sort of skills we'll be looking for for the project. And so we're in a pretty good position, there's some neat artefacts inside the building and we're really looking forward to working on them. The building is in poor condition so it's critical that the Trust gets in to, uh, to undertake a repair. Um, in 1989 the secondary roof was put over top but sadly this hasn't been working and every summer season it leaks. Uh, the carpet in the building has been contaminated with uh, diesel. Another task and a critical task, the, uh, the building was uh, lined with asbestos and we're getting a specialist team down next season to uh, support the trust to remove it. But we're also going to uh, reinstate the original paint colours. So this season we've been peeling away the paint layers and uh, we've gone through numerous paint layers, probably up to 10, to identify the original um, paint colours. I think one really exciting part of the work is that once we've finished, this building will look quite different from all of the rest of the Scott Base buildings in terms of its colour. And it will be very clear for everyone who comes to visit Scott Base that this is where it all began. It'll be the 60th anniversary of Scott Base in January 2017 and we're hoping to have the major conservation work completed by then.